Hello again, everyone. Another chapter from the Elements of Brie, this time chapter eight. Make sure I have the right number of fingers up there. The Fairy Cave. Brie felt her head pounding, and that's what woke her up. She slowly opened her eyes and discovered that she was not in the forest anymore. She was laying on some hay covered by a blanket on an altar in a cave. She turned her head to see the room she was in was a small and only held the altar. Across from her was a doorway to the rest of the cave. She could see flickering light, probably from some flames, and she heard something strange. It was the sound of fluttering wings along with what sounded like a squeaking sound mixed with the soft tingle of bells. She forced herself to sit up and waited until she was no longer dizzy. Her body ached a bit, probably from the fall down the hill. She eventually pushed off the altar and looked down at what she was wearing. The clothes she wore when she left Passerelle were gone, but she was wearing a dark green flowing nightgown instead. It felt as though she had had a bath, and when she touched her hair, it was combed back and still a little damp. She placed her hand on her chest and felt the necklace and charm were still there, so she sighed in relief. She stumbled into the main part of the cave and was taken aback at what she saw. There was a large fountain with three basins in the middle of the room. Water sprang calmly from the top of it and cascaded down from one basin to the other and the other and next until it finally poured into a wide open pool in the floor. The water seemed to sparkle and looked crystal clear as if, but as if that wasn't amazing enough. Bree smiled at what she saw flying around the fountain. There were many tiny flying creatures soaring around the fountain and some were even flying through the water. With every move they made, there was a soft tingle of bells. When two got close together, they seemed to hover together and soon began to squeak at each other. Bree took a step into the chamber and most of the creatures stopped flying around madly and looked at her. She stopped as well, hoping she didn't frighten them. Suddenly, two or three flew to her and hovered in front of her. They all looked female, wore bright white dresses, and each had a small wand in their hand. They hovered in front of Bree, chattering in their squeaky voices, the soft tingle of bells every time they moved. Hello, Bree finally said to them. The three creatures stared at her and they all waved. Bree waved back. Are you fairies? The one in the middle nodded. Did you rescue me? All three shook their heads and then pointed to their right. A shut wooden door was on the far wall. Someone brought me here, she asked. The one in the middle nodded again and then flew close to her. It pointed at her arms with its wand, flicked the wand upward. For a moment, Bree didn't understand, and then slowly rolled her sleeve up. There was a scratch on her arm from the fall down the hill in the forest. The fairy near her shook its wand over her scratch, causing many sparkles to land on the cut. Bree was amazed to see the cut heal and return to normal skin before her eyes. Wow, she said, and she looked up at the other fairies. That's actual magic? The other two fairies closest to her nodded and turned to point at the fountain. The rest of the fairies in the room had gathered near the bottom basin with a small mug. They scooped out some of the water and brought it to her. Bree took the mug from them and looked at the water inside. It was only half full of water and not only the water not only still sparkled it even seemed to glow a little is it safe to drink she asked them the fairy that had healed her arm nodded and encouraged her to drink by miming the action brie took a deep breath and tried to relax as she put the mug to her lips the water was cool but not too cold and tasted very refreshing after swallowing she felt this surge of energy all over her body her headache went away and every ache and pain she was feeling vanished she felt alive and ready to do anything. She looked to the fairies who were all beaming at her. That was amazing, she exclaimed. The fairy that had healed her arm came close and lightly tapped its wand on the end of Bree's nose, causing sparkles to fall out of the tip and tickling her in the process. Bree giggled and scratched her nose, which then caused all the other fairies in the room to giggle and softly tingle as well. Odiana must really like you. The soft male voice came from her right and made her jump. Bree turned to see a young man wearing reddish robes standing in the now open doorway that the fairies had pointed to before. He was smiling and looked like a monk. She really likes a lot of humans, but I guess that's why you're special, isn't it, Bree? Who's that? See you next time.